In today's video, I'll be showing you guys all that was added in this latest update of Brookhaven. We can start by looking at the game's new thumbnail. Just by looking at it, we probably have a new structure. Actually, this forklift was not in the game before. So beyond that, did we just get a new vehicle? That's so cool! As we log in, we can see the change log of this update. Looks like we got a new shipping slash criminal roleplay set, the new forklift vehicle, new changeable semi-trailer, and a little fix to a little kid bug. And the first thing we have to try out is the new roleplay set, which is probably the coolest part of this update. Every player wants new houses in the game, so let's see how this one plays out. Look, there's our new home, and interestingly enough, it has the red border on it just like the castle. That's something that not every house has, by the way. If you don't know what it means, this house probably hides some secrets from us. Let's get this new house, as it's still building. Here's a bunch of people that commented what I asked for in the last video, and if you want to show up in the next video, just write hee hee in the comments below. Something that this place has that others don't Is that whenever we place one of these beside another They look like the same place There's just this little bug line to set them apart Is this place mine or is it my neighbor's? That's the question Unlike other houses in this game They don't do the same Awesome, so let's open up this place What do we have in here? It looks like a big storage building A place for you to ship and transport stuff all around Brookhaven Now you know where to look if you're trying to find your package You can see that just by how many boxes boxes we got in here. We also have something that no other house has. This garage door. It's basically to help take things down from a truck and just make the shipping process a lot easier. But you'll soon see that the entrance isn't really the problem. Let me get this truck so I can show you. We can change the back for something interesting. Actually, those boxes are enough. Now we just need to maneuver the truck so it goes exactly into that gate. You gotta be a really good driver though. Even I am having some issues. Just a little bit more. There we go. Even if it's a bit crooked we got it in there. Please don't talk about my trucking skills. You also probably remember that new vehicle we found in the thumbnail. If we go down the vehicle menu we can find it next to the construction vehicles. This is the newest forklift. We can just spawn it in and bask in all the glory of the lift. The idea is that you use it inside this storage room and bring the boxes into the truck which I put out of the way. That sub is gonna park the truck for us so let's just back this thing up and grab some boxes. Can we get these ones right here? We can click on the buttons on top to lift it up for us. But it doesn't seem like we can lift any of these. I'm serious. We can try to get any of these and they won't work. It's like they're not even here. We can even go fully through them. So these don't make sense. I'm really confused on why we have these then. There's another button up here though. And with it we can make boxes appear on it. At least we can use the forklift this way. Since there's no real way to get these ones. We can lift them up and bring them back down. There's also other items we can go take around with the forklift. Like these construction pipes. These slimmer logs. We got cinder blocks. These green crates. And even some stuff to build houses in the game. Ain't that cool? Let's see if there's anyone around with the same house, since I kinda need some work. Dude! Get out of my way! Wait, can we use this thing to lift a car? I didn't even think of that. Let me test it out. No, that doesn't work. Dude! Did they really just ban me? Were they mad because I tried to lift their car? And you just unbanned now? Why did you do that then? Since you're gonna do that, I'm gonna get into your place uninvited. First off, I'm sending your car to the dumps. This is all revenge, just because you banned me for no reason. Now I got their car. I'm gonna throw it away. Oh gosh. I ended up being the one thrown away. Since she banned me, I'll get the house right next to her because I'll have the best new house of all time. First, we'll paint this place this nice red color. We need to have a forklift. Not only that, but a red one since that's our brand. I'll also call some people to work with me on it. Hey girl, do you want to work for me? Yes! But I want to get a million dollars every day. Don't worry about that. Just grab everything on this sack and get ready. Here's where you'll be working. You can see we have a big storage facility. All right, let me change. Go ahead. I still need to get tons more employees. I want to have an awesome shipping unit. To make it even better, we'll give it a name. I'll just call it Nando's Company. It's going to be right up there. That'll call some attention. Hey, I want to work for you too. Of course, you're hired then. Grab this bag and you'll have the uniform you need to wear. Oh, he's an eager one, but that means we got another employee. I think I found our next candidate. She literally has a sign looking for work. Hey, there's some space in my company. You're hired. Awesome. We already have three people working for me. We're gonna be a lot better than that. Wait a minute. Seems like she left the game, so I guess we have less competition. Can I work here too? Of course. Just get in uniform. Here's the other employees with their clothes as well. Even she put it on. It looks awesome. I didn't think about how I'm going to pay all these people. 
Let's think about that later. They're even getting the forklifts in. Wait, dude, don't you know how to drive? Looks like they're proactive. They're even gonna park the truck for us. With all this work, they're gonna get their salary in no time. Looking at some more of this update, we have this room right here. It's basically the command room where the owner normally works. We got some ghost cabinets since we can just walk through them. There's also this button. What does it do? Oh, it's one of those heaters. Looks like we got the truck in order. That's nice. They seem to be working pretty well. Getting the boxes into the truck. Wait a minute. What happened? Does the forklift not go inside the truck? It just bugged into it. I guess this update has a few bugs to work out. I'm stuck. Get me out of here. Hold on, dude. I'm gonna help you out. Let me just get into the truck and see. I wasn't able to do much. Let me see if the forklift can help. Max speed we can. Take that. That didn't help much. Oh, she took the truck away. So that just solves it. This is a really cool update. I just wish we could move these boxes around. There's a ladder in here though. Where does it take us? Click this button. Oh, it's the ceiling. It's cool that we're able to go up here. Apparently it is a bit cracked, so that's not good. There's also these things that we can also just pass through. I really don't know why. I'm really not sure why they didn't put collision on these. Hey, there was an update to the truck too. Wait, there was? Huh? I didn't even really check them. All right, the side is normal. We can ride on it still. Oh. What about the back? This must be where they added. We can change the back from a bunch of boxes to just an empty container. But clicking it again will let us see the tons of different cargo we can have on here. Actually, there was even something recently added to the gas station. Where if we leave our truck right over here, we can click this button and it'll fill the fuel tank in our truck. This is just a little something most people didn't talk about in the last update. Beyond just the fuel tank, we also have a lot more boxes. But that isn't just it. If you go through them, you'll find a bunch of suspicious stuff. You'll find money, guns, TVs, all kinds of weird stuff. Clicking it Again, we'll have these logs. After that, we have a bunch of crates. Wait, this is actually new. So that's part of the truck update, the bacon hair said. Clicking it another time, we'll find all these housing supplies, just like the ones in the forklift. We also have the frames for walls of houses. And finally, we have this one. It's not a new one, though. So that's all. Wait a minute. I don't remember this one. It's like a little criminal base inside the truck. There's guns, computers. That for sure screams agency to me. Or some very dangerous organization. We we also have this one that's kind of scary. Apparently, there's even another scary one, which actually has a paper of the agency on it. I'm scared of what they did to this place then. They scare me. Really bizarre, but I think that's all the trucks have to offer on this update. So that's gonna have to be it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like on the video and comment down below what was your favorite thing from this update. Make sure to watch one of the videos on screen right now. They're so much fun. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep up to date with everything Brookhaven. Have a good one!